In this video, I'm going to discuss why I stopped tutoring after quitting my teaching job. Hey there, I'm Sony Teach. If you're new here, welcome. I help teachers to start an online tutoring business so they can make more money and work less hours. So if that sounds good to you, be sure to subscribe. I want to talk about why I decided to stop tutoring and what I do now. So I was tutoring the full year for in, in 2018 and during that time I also got married and got pregnant with my first child and initially I was about um, eight or nine months pregnant and I was going through a lot of pain and feeling very sick to a point where I didn't think it was realistic for me to continue taking on students. So I made an announcement on my Facebook page that I was no longer taking students and that I would take new students again the summer after I had my son. At that point, I hadn't announced that I was pregnant. Um, I kept it a secret. I wasn't comfortable sharing it on social media, um, but I basically just gave no explanation and said that I'm not taking any more students until next summer. Then I had my son the following year, and after having my son, um, my health uh, actually became worse. Um, if you've seen my video on why I quit teaching, I talk a lot about like the health conditions that prompted me to quit my teaching job. And similarly, after having my son, it became worse to a point where it was difficult to sit in a chair. It was difficult to do like a lot of basic living tasks. So it became unrealistic for me to sit for several hours a day um, conducting tutoring sessions. And for that reason, I decided to stop tutoring. I didn't know if it would necessarily be a long-term decision or just something to do in the short term until I started feeling better. Um, but truthfully, I didn't really ever start feeling that much better. Um, even now, I can only sit for about 30 minutes at a time before I start experiencing a lot of um, pain, joint pain. What I ended up doing now is I now help teachers that want to start a tutoring business. So I help people figure out their how to market their business because a lot of tutors feel awkward about marketing their services. They feel uncomfortable. They feel like it's too salesy and unnatural or um, they have trouble figuring out how much to charge for their tutoring sessions or they have to they end up taking on clients that are not ideal for them and um, so I help them navigate all those issues through my monthly membership called the Four Figure Tutor Society. If you'd like to learn more about enrolling in that membership, I will link it down below in the description. I also support tutors through one-on-one -on -one coaching. I only work with a few tutors at a time because that is a bigger investment of my time and energy. Um, and I help those teachers that are really intentional about starting their business and growing it successfully. But that is basically what I do now, and so something I'd like to do on this channel is start talking more about how I've been able to generate passive income in my business. Because um, I just had my second child in April, and so I basically took the month of April off and I was able to make $2,000, which was amazing. And I'm so grateful for that. Um, it took me you know, three years to get to this point, but I want to be able to teach other teachers how I got to a position where I could start generating income um, on autopilot without having to actively work for it. Um, now, that doesn't mean that it's completely passive. There is some work involved, but it is much easier than, say, you know, teaching full time or tutoring full time. It's a much more relaxed lifestyle that I would like to help other teachers um, implement as well. So, if that sounds interesting to you, please let me know in the comments below if you want to learn more about um, starting creating a course, creating a membership or um, selling digital products online, just type passive income in the comments so I know that you're interested in those types of videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.